Hallelujah. Are you awake? Are you sure? Father, thank you for this opportunity and this blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. How many of you were at the flow prayer meeting? You were there? That's good. Now, we are going to go and rest a little and come. Amen. Amen. But before that, we need to continue. If we don't continue, it will go very late. And today is almost the last day. Tomorrow morning, and then we, tomorrow morning early, then we, we leave. So, just, I believe that the message that we have from the Lord is very clear. Ephesians chapter 5, verse, or even this one. He sent young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. And you see, in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 27, it says that he might present it to himself a glorious church. A what? A glorious church. Not having spot, not having any wrinkles. Now, you see, most of us spiritual qualities that we've been concerned about are not are not the quality of no wrinkles. No, 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 no. The spiritual qualities we are looking, we've been looking for anointing. Do you see? Anointing, isn't it? Holiness, isn't it? Love, isn't it? Humility, patience. These are what we pray for and what we are aspiring to. But at this camp meeting, the Holy Spirit is revealing something else that God wants a characteristic of the church. No spot, having no spot or wrinkle or any such thing which only has to do with the aging of the church. And that is amazing. And so, as we've prayed, you know, from this morning about deliver us from evil, you see, one of the evils are spiritual evils. Spiritual evils. There are a lot of spiritual evils that can overcome the church. And one of the spiritual evils is the aging, premature aging, and then the domination of the aged of the church. The the aged dominating the church. Amen. Now, when the aged dominates the church, the church takes on a different characteristic. So we want those, the message has to be received in different ways. The young people have to be inspired. We are going to rise up and we can do it. The old people have two things to do. What are the two things that older people have to do? when you hear this message without spot or without wrinkle. There are two things. Who wants to help me to tell what are the two things that must be done? When you hear this message about no spot and no wrinkle, what should the aged do? So I think the first thing that I... Will you be part of the aged? No. (laughs) I I am, but then in my my mind, I have to think as, as a young... No, no, no. I'm just asking whether you are part of the aged. I am part. (laughs) <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. So, what must the agent do? So, the, the first thing is is in the mind. 
to uh, how many things should the agent do? You tell us how many things the maybe, agent maybe, maybe two things. Two things. Yeah. Beautiful. He's in the spirit. Yeah. The agent have to do only two things. Yes. I'm I'm just interested to hear what two things the agent have to do based on what I'm preaching. Yes. Pastor Brian, do you get what I'm saying? Yes. Two things, and he's about to reveal. Yeah. Yes. Reveal. <laughs> reveal. So the, the first thing is to think as a young person, you know, to flow as a young person, to, to take on the nature of a young person. Beautiful. How many marks are you giving him? 100%. Only 10. 10 over 10. Uh huh. 100%. He said to think, what did you say? To, to think, think as, as, as uh, a, a young, young person. person. And to, to flow. Take, to flow and to also have the nature. And have the nature, nature of the young person. Of a young person. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> that is the first thing that you must do. What's the second thing you must do? And then the second thing I, I would do is to help the young people with my experiences and, and, and all that. The second thing is to, so help, to help the young people. Yeah. I mean, to, to encourage them. To, because I remember you, you said that one thing that we lack in the church is like visiting the, the other churches, encourage them, be with them, yes. visit with them. Encourage the young. Yeah, so I remember I... I, I it, is, it is close to the answer. <laughs> it's close to the answer. But not exactly. Not exactly. It's also, it's also true. Bishop Brian wants to f f fill up the. Uh, uh. Yes, Bishop Brian, please. Thank he you. says to help the young. So what? What this? He's close, but not exactly. Yes. I, I think um, it's just to make room for the young. Yes, the word is to allow, allow to and make room for them. Make room for them. That yes. is the, that is the, the thing. Because you may think you are helping them, but uh, we'll still be imposing and creating. Yes, you, start, you are sort of sitting on them. <laughs> yes. So they don't feel free. Yeah. So I think that the big critical one is to sort of allow. allow. Although helping is very much also what you have to do, but allow. allow. Yes, allow. It's to allow. Yes, it's to allow. Just as Bishop Kakra was allowed to be a pastor when he was a young person. In fact, he's still a student, I think you were a student. A student selling photocopies. His work was to make photocopies. He, he had a photocopy business and a saloon. Two businesses. Yes. He had these two businesses. He was allowed to. He told me that he wants to be a, in full-time ministry. He was allowed to serve the Lord. He said, he, he said to me, he feels he would die. You see, what I want to say is that young people are, they, I don't, they also hear from God very wildly. Because the, Bishop Kakra told me that he feels he would die if he doesn't go into the ministry. That's what he told me. And when he told me, I was also afraid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is it. So I mean, you ask yourself that, can a 20, because we are older, if a 24-year-old person comes and says, I feel I'll die, so you won't die. You, that is how we we'll say, you won't die, you won't die, Bia. there will be no death. You just do this, do this, do this, you won't die. And you just sort of make the person look silly as to his convictions and so on. But I'm saying that young people, there, they, there, are, there is a way in which young people, they hear from God also very widely. Look, this, yeah, there are some younger people who have become prophets, international prophets, very young, very young. It's like for them, they are open to all sorts of possibilities and they are very young. I saw one guy, 30-something years old. I mean, you see the things that guy was saying. He said, Jesus, Jesus appeared to him and told him to, 
to, to, to, to stop what he's doing. He was doing this whole nightclub, this, and Jesus told him to stop. That's why he has stopped. I saw another guy there. He, you see, the youthfulness come, comes. He, he's going to make tattoos. Yeah. yeah, tattoos. Another one, Rasta. And so he's using the Rasta to preach. You see him, wow. But when you listen, you see that this guy is poor. You see that he's anointed. You see that he's gifted. And you see that he loves God. I saw him about to preach. He knelt down in front of the pulpit to pray. How many of us knew that we were going to pray? Kneel down. We prayed like this with the raster. No, young people, I'm telling you, if they have space and we allow them, you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. So th- these are, young people have two, one thing and the old people have two things. Young people have one thing. Go ahead, do the work of God. But the old people in the church, we have two things. One is allow. Allow them. Say, okay, be my pastor. Because just like how Grandpa Mose, that's how he treated us. It's like you are a pastor. I, have you not gone to your father's house before where you, you became a marriage counselor? Yes. He would go to counsel us. Somebody that he gave birth to. <laughs> Counsel us. That's, 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 that's how he encouraged them. It's like you are a pastor. You are a bishop. I remember when I went to the house, all the Methodist bishops were there, these grown-ups, and I came with all the children we were coming to, I, I don't know, a party or something. He said, no, 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 I should come and sit here. I should come and sit where the bishops were sitting. I mean, I didn't like it at all, but it was like he was giving me that that is my, that is my real position. I am a bishop. Wow. wow. So the grown-ups must allow. allow. That is the big word. Yes, allow. And you must be conscious of the fact that you are not allowing because it's the most natural thing to not allow. If somebody come and tell you that, I feel I will die if I don't go into full-time ministry. You tell him, my friend, you will not die. You will not die if you don't go to any full-time ministry. You will not die. Is that not what we will say? That's what we will say. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But if somebody says, I want to go on a mission... I so said, you will not go on any mission. It's a very dangerous thing. These are not the ter- these days there are terrorists, this and that. Before you realize, that's the end of missionary work. Yes. So, let us take up the mission and take up the ministry because this is our great asset. It's the young people. Yes. The young people. They are the ones who are going to. Now, the miracle of this whole thing is that older people can transform themselves into a younger version. Yes, because I am older than most of the people in the First Lab Church. I'm older than them, but many times I'm younger than them. As we are all here, we all haven't slept too. Huh? We all haven't slept. It's not as though I've been uh, enjoying some sleep. Yes, we all haven't slept. Yes, I'm on it. Very, I feel, I feel tired. Tired. How many feel tired? Uh-huh. We are all feeling tired, but it's like, you know, one time I met a brother. Uh, a pastor, uh, he told me, when did you come? I said, I came today. He said, you came today? And you preached today? I said, yeah. We had traveled far. I said, oh no, it's not a problem. Recently I went to Panama. I left Ghana on, I think, Man Tuesday. Monday. When you leave on Monday, you get there in the night 
of the next day. So it's like minimum 24 hours you'll be traveling. When I got to the airport of Panama, the pastors came to meet me and we were going to the canal and I saw one of the pastors said, please, can I speak to you? It was now around, around six in the evening. Well, they were taking us to the hotel. The pastor said, please, can I see you? The pastor wants to speak to you. So they gave me the phone to speak to a pastor who speaks English because everybody speaks Spanish. I said, pastor says that you are preaching tonight. <laughs> because that place, when you go, they don't tell you when you preach. They don't tell you when you preach. They just tell you every day. They call you and say, you, you are preaching today at this time. That's all. So when I got there, they gave me the phone. You are preaching today. I've just arrived, though. <laughs> Within 45 minutes to one hour, I was on stage. Oh, yes. Having a miracle service. Oh, yes. And, oh, yes, I knew. Maybe you don't know what it means to travel like that. And every day they called me. Even days I said I was not, I'm not preaching. I knew I'm not preaching. Then I was there not. One hour two times, you are preaching. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be flexible. Yeah. But I met a pastor. He told me, hey, me, I can't do that. When I travel and I come, I have to rest. I have to rest. He said, I'm no more a young person. I have to rest, sleep, recover. Then I take my time. And next day, then I can think about preaching. But you see, you can decide to flow as a young person. Yes, you can decide. That's how you change that. You even challenge the young people. And the young people will wonder who is young. Oh, yes. One day I met a man who was 90 years old. And I said, where are the man's children? Here they are, 20 years old. So I realized that 20 years old and the man is 90, it means that at the age of 70, he was very productive. <laughs> He's challenging the younger ones. Oh, yes. One time a relative died. He was around 80 something. When he died, the relatives came to see me that they, they need assistance for the school fees of that relative who has died, child, children. I said, where are the children? Here, the small ones. Small, small ones. Yes. Nursery school. 80 something. I said, wow. The old people have refused to retire. <laughs> yes. They've transformed themselves into young men and they are flowing. May we transform ourselves spiritually into young men and also bring forth fruit. Amen. Is Catch the Anointing Center going to be a very young ministry? Oh, yes. I hope you are getting ready your 50 new pastors whom I'm going to lay. They are the only people I'll lay hands on here. Hmm? The old pastors, I will not lay hands on. I'm laying hands on new people. I hope they will all be young people. Now, are you still around? Exodus chapter 10. What are the young people going to bring into the ministry? How many want to know what the young people are going to bring? When I finish sharing this, we'll go and sleep. It's very short. Amen. Because you need to rest. Is it not true? You need to what? Rest. Rest. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Amazing, isn't it? Now, the question is, what do the young people bring? What are they going to bring to the table that the old doesn't have? Yes. And Moses and Aaron, Exodus chapter 10, verse 8. Moses and Aaron were brought again unto Pharaoh. And he said unto them, Go, serve the Lord your God. But who are they that shall go? And Moses said, underline it, We will go with our young. We will do what? We will go with our young. And also the old. And with our daughters. And our sons. And our flocks. But he said, we will go with our young. We need the young. We need the young. We will go with our young. Why were young people so necessary for Moses? Amen. Amen. What is it that the young people are going to bring? Number one, young people in the, are going to bring into the ministry music. Number two, dancing. Number three, a flow. And number four, joy. And number five, Strength. Amen. 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 This is the reality. Number one is what? Music. Music. Number two is what? Dancing. Dancing. Number three is what? A A flow. Number four is what? Joy. And number five is what? Strength. Look at what the scripture says. The glory of young men is their strength. And the beauty of the old man is the gray head. The glory, the nice part of a young man is the strength. I once went to a country where they have girlfriends have boyfriends as young men. And you see, they take them to parties and events in the evening. You see the mature lady, humoristic lady with a young boy. They have a name for it. I don't want to mention the name. They have a name for it. And they go out, they go for dinners and events with the young boy. And they... They, they, they like the young boys because of their strength. The glory of the young man is his strength. So when the church has the young men, amen, amen, you are going to have, number one, music. Yeah. Music. Dancing. If you listen to the First Love Church music, those who despise that music, they are old people. So we have love music. We have a lot of love songs in the First Love Church. What are some of the love songs? Sing one line of each of the love songs you have. Love is strong as death. Many waters cannot quench it. Yes. True love is strong as death. And then other love songs. It's the breakup of my relationship. Mm. That's what's on my heart today. Mm. I cannot get over the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> What have you learned? I have learned that if you love, then you will give. Oh. 
And I have learned that if you love, you will communicate. He said to me, if you love me, then you will smile at me. Mm. If you love me, you'll be full of life and fun. Mm. If you love me, you will be cheerful around me. And if you love me, you like my friends. So child, please learn these lessons about love. I don't want you to have a broken heart. Yeah. I don't want you to feel the pain I felt. Oh. So you must learn how to love. When you love someone, you give your best. Wow. Yeah. Love songs. Love songs. Yeah. That's what young people bring. And the old people will be looking at them. Mm. <laughs> what other love song do you have? Oh, brother, propose to me. Oh, brother, in love, please propose to me. I know that you love me so dearly. And I love you too. And I know that you want to marry me. Oh, brother, propose to me. You see, this is to encourage people to be proposing. Yes. And what other love song do you have? Together forever, liking you has brought me here. Mm. And now I am by your side forever. Mm -hmm. Let's go into a room together. Hey. Let Jesus lock us in together forever. Wow. Jesus should lock us in together forever. <laughs> and what other love song do you have? When they are going to get married, what do they sing? That the song I've No. On Sundays, what do we sing? The way of a life. No. Now, I've found, a, I've found a beloved. I'm going to get married. Pray for me. How does that one song go? Yes. Oh, is it love is as strong as death? Yeah. Which other love song? Find the love. I'll say I love you. I'll say I love you. Mm -mm. I'll marry you and I'll take you home. And I will say I want you. But please be very nice to me. Uh huh. Young people bring music. Yeah. All these are musics. Musics. All these are musics. Yes. Where is Danny Boy? We, I can sing you love songs the whole morning till 2 o'clock. Continuous. Yeah. We have in the church. But I see the old people look at it. Because you see, when you are older, and they say, I love you. So I say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All these things. I'm telling you, all these things. We have seen all these things before. We have heard all these. Yeah. Yes. I'll say I love you. From the top. What's the verse? You can't remember. <laughs> I've been praying about this for. I've been praying about this for many months. Lord, let your will be done. Oh, yes. And I've been thinking very hard. God, help me choose the right person. Wow. 
Now I have made up my mind about who I'm gonna propose to. I'll see the lady tomorrow night. This is what I am gonna say. What are you gonna say? Many of you don't know these songs. Many of you don't know these songs because you are in the old aged bracket. It's true. The wrinkling is working fully, 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 fully. Yeah. And you see, what I'm saying is that many people have not taken being young. Well, what did Ben say? You said... You, the nature, you take the nature of a young person that it has a place in spirituality. Look at my ministry. The people are young. I'm preaching, you would think that maybe I'm not serious. It's young people are following. Many, many. The school is full of, this school here is full of, and I have many people from abroad Young people, they, they want to serve the Lord. You would think that maybe I'm not a serious personality, but I'm actually a very serious person. Yeah, maybe you don't know me. All these things are part of the seriousness. Part of, it's like to, to not be with wrinkles. Yes. It's actually a spiritual quality. Yeah. And you see, Many people that are priests and pastors, from a certain time onwards, they have lost a certain grace and vitality. It's only the dignity and the respect which we give that is like you can't take away that respect and you can't take away that dignity. But actually, they've lost their place. Even the churches, that's why you see that it's younger churches that come and take over. Yeah, but it's just the respect of that. You were there before us, or you've been there for so many years, since 18, whatever, you've been there. Yeah, but actually, life of salvation. You know, for me, personally, I don't like hymns. I, I mean, one or two hymns, maybe. But I, can't, I almost can't stand to hear them. Because... That is what was presented to me as God and as church. And it was just ritualistic hymns. When I hear hymns, I think of funerals. So me, I don't, I'm, not a, I'm not a hymns person. If I'm dead, no, no hymn will be sung at my funeral. I don't want it at all. The ancient souls, whatever, uh, 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 now praise we uh, great and whatever men and all those things. I don't like it at all. Not that it's not good. The works are fantastic and very beautiful and anointed. But you see, it, to me, it's just associated with the deadness of it. I almost went to hell. I almost went to hell. I wouldn't have been saved. Because when I look at this is church, I look at it and said, this one, I will never, I can, I can never be part of it. Deadness is what? You go to the church, there's no life, no salvation. The first time that I saw a, a church with life and salvation was at action. They were outside in the corridor. I've never seen where there was life before. Everything was dead. You don't, you go, there, there's no life. It's dead. Then the hymns will be moving one after the other. My favorite priest was the one who says, we shall sing the first and last stanza. First and last stanza, that's all. People have driven people away from church. Go to England, all the churches are empty. Recently, one of my cousins who has never been to Ghana, he lived abroad all these years in England. He came to Ghana. I told him, you are, he said, do you go to church? I don't go to church. Church. He has never been, almost 60 years old. Never, I don't go to church. 
Church is a dead, empty, useless, irrelevant, boring, ritualistic experience without meaning. Somebody was able to invite him to come to First Life Church for the first time in his life. After he sent a message, I've now seen what you mean by life in a church. I never knew. I've never seen it. So we have misrepresented God. And people have gone, all the churches are empty, England. All are empty. I'm telling you, go and see. All the white people, the young people, nobody knows God. That whole generation is lost. It's so wild. This age thing and this grown-up thing, you think that it's just something funny that is being said, but it is the death of the church. It's very wild. And I don't think that, you know, for us who are older, we have to sit up. Bishop Brian, you have to see a young person who does pastoral work and cares for people. Because you are getting older. You will not be there forever. You will not be there forever. You have to, you have, the younger people have to take up the work. And we have to like their things too. We don't have to say, hey, 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 hey. Don't whatever here. This place is not whatever. Huh? Huh? Sit down quietly over right there. <laughs> Is that not what we do to the young people? Is that not what we do to the young people? They also move away. Yeah. Yeah, you are too zealous. You want to go on missions. Like, my friend is not doing whatever. Bishop Dark, whatever, this, this, and that. Why doesn't he himself go for a mission? What about his children? Why doesn't he send them also for a mission? Those are, you say in a way, you are actually against me, against God, against the Holy Spirit. And you are killing the work of God. I'm telling you. And the result is like what you see in England today. If that is church, I didn't want it. I used to go to church. Well, my father would drop us there. But I hated, I didn't like. When I went SU2, I didn't, I didn't know. You people should thank God I got saved. Though. Hey. It wouldn't have been good. It wouldn't have been good. So number one, young people will bring in music. Yes. Number two, they bring in dancing. Yes. Number three, they bring a certain flow. They are flowing. Yes. Shall we do this? Yeah. Should we come here? Yeah. Oh, should we go for flow? Yeah. We we have a camp here. Let's do this. Can we do this? Let's do this. They are flowing. Flowing means. Easily yielding. That is why you see sometimes older men, you see that they are going to look for girlfriends. It's what they are looking for is a flow. Because the older one, you have to, if they want to have sex, you have to say it in English. This section are intimidating me. <laughs> yes, you have to say it in English. Yeah. Because some people, even when you look at them, how to even bring the topic of sex? It looks, some of you cannot even imagine your mothers having sex. When they were younger, you can't imagine how groovy they were. Ah. They were groovy. But now you see them wearing the lace. And the mama by a slate and they'll be moving like that. Very graceful. Beautiful. Very regal. Queenly. You can't even imagine it. Yes. One man, he went and fell into the hands of some young lady. The girl was giving him a time of his life. 
at the point he just said, ah, I've not had this for a long time. <laughs> I'll stop preaching because I think people, this type of thing, people don't want that. <laughs> That's what you get with a young, you get the flow. You get the flow. Yeah. You get the flowing, yielding, obeying, saying yes, ready, ready. Oh, and this is what God wants. Jesus Christ was going to have a romantic relationship with the church. And he said, I don't want wrinkles. Oh, don't bring me any oh, yomo. I, bet you, I don't need any yomo. I don't need any yomo. I don't need any more. I need a young, young person. Yeah. Because I need the flow. Number four, you get joy. Yes, you get joy. They are always happy. One of my pastors, he told me that his, his son or his daughter got married. So the son and the daughter came to visit them. And they were in the house, and they were also in the house. He said, Hey, we were in our room. Then we hear them downstairs talking, laughing. He said, They were there quiet, like the king and the queen. They were quiet in the house. He said, They were talking, laughing, this, that. He said, hey. It's like the different type of people. But it's like they were the older ones. Very, I mean, calm, quiet. There was a quiet. And the house, you know, those abroad, the houses are made of cardboard. So you can hear the noises and the talking, laughing, this happy. I say, hey, people are enjoying. Oh. People are enjoying. No, that's what you get with a young person. There's joy, there's happiness, there's life. Older people are treating cancer. Treating different diseases, so going for attending funerals, they made their blood pressures, they are checking blood pressures, different issues. When they give you chicken, you say, How much cholesterol? When they give you this, you say, How much sugar? When they give you this, how many calories? When they give you this, I can't eat this, I can't eat this, I can't. Oh! What are all these? So you see, God wants a church full of joy. Yeah, like they clap, they are happy, they are laughing. Some people have never been to a church where they laugh. They've never been to a church where they laugh. Yes. You know, one time I was in a, a certain country whose name begins with A. And <laughs> when the pastor was going to preach, he, he, he said something that is a joke. Do you see? Then I saw another pastor from that same country whose name begins with A. Also starting to preach. He would also say a joke. Like this type of jokes you have in books. A man went here, then he did this, 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 and that. Ha, 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 ha. So I realized that that's the main laughter in the church is the joke. So the pastor has to get a joke for his sermon. Every sermon, you need a joke before. So he sees a joke every Sunday before the actual preaching starts. Every Sunday there's a joke. Like, you know, there are books of jokes. I'm sure there are books of jokes, yeah. Three men went somewhere, then one did this and this and then ha, 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 ha. Uh-huh. Every Sunday, they say. Because they've never been to a church where the people are happy, jumping, laughing, talking, I mean, rejoicing, enjoying. No, 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 no. So, look at you here. You have been awake since, what, 4 a.m. Huh? Some of you since 7. But you've been awake since 4. <laughs> A 
and you are here. And we are flowing. And there is joy. That's the Holy Spirit. Jesus wants a church that is young. Yes. Jesus wants a young church that is flowing. Yes. This is what the young people bring. They bring a flow. And you see, so if you, if you don't allow, if you don't allow, they will, they will not, you will not allow the music. The music will be out. Yes. The music will be out. If you don't allow, the dancing will be out. So what is that? One time I put some dancers, a, a pastor was sitting behind me. So why are they dancing? What, what, what are they dancing about? Why, why are they dancing? Hey. And you know, when I went to the first life church, I've never seen such, I've never heard such songs before. Never. When they put it on, boom, 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 so I said, hey. That is the music they like. They'll be dancing, they'll be so happy. And I said to myself, allow. I went to learn it there. I went to learn it there. When I saw it, I don't play, I don't, I don't, I don't make my music, I don't have such music. I don't know, I, don't, I personally don't know the such music. Whether well, King's Kid and all those yeah. music that they dance. Boo, 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 hey. But I watch aloud, it's said aloud. Allow. When I'm preaching, there's some people, there are some people on one side, they always shouting, hey, oh, this and that. Allow. I just allow. I allow the people. But you can point them and say, hey, silence. Silence in the presence of God. Silence. <laughs> not here. Not here. This is not a market. This is not an afternoon jump. Allow. Allow the flow. Allow the joy. Allow the people to be happy. Yes. Allow the people to be happy. Allow the people to be happy. Allow. You see, because you don't realize that even your face may be not allowing. Yes. Your face. One day, a, a brother went to fornicate. And after he said, I said, why? Why? He said, look, a naked, and I said, does your wife not give you sex? Then he said to be a proverb. <laughs> because he had, he had a beautiful wife. He said to me, a naked angry woman and a naked smiling woman are two different things. <laughs> yes. Naked angry and naked smiling are two things. She said she will lie down on the bed naked with the face angry. <laughs> Charlie. Everybody say flow. flow. Yes. Many older ladies become like headmistresses. Yes. I don't know whether there's any headmistress in this area. Hey, you're flowing, isn't it? Oh, yes. When you see their face, they ask, uh, I would like to have sex. <laughs> I would like to have sex. <laughs> then the answer will come. Do you not see that I'm doing something? Do you not see that we are doing something? Huh? Do you not see that some, we are doing something? Oh, yes. Many things. But they're young. She will climb over you like a spider. Tarantula. <laughs> I think uh, I think it is it's enough for the it's enough for the morning. <laughs> God wants.
wants a church which is climbing to come and find him. Climbing and running and climbing and flowing. You don't have to talk a lot. You just say one thing. The whole church is just moving in that direction. Yes. 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 That's what Jesus himself says that he wants without sport, this holy, this, 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 this. this. I, I, I thought Jesus wanted patience. Jesus is well, though. I thought he wanted... <laughs> I thought he wanted only patience, holiness, kindness, self-control, and humility. But he said one of the main things, no wrinkles. No wrinkles. She should be young. And that word, no wrinkle, and that young, it has everything in it. It has all these things in it. Music, dancing. Dancing. One brother, he married a younger lady. He had been married to an older lady. He married a younger lady. I said, I met him one day. I said, what's the difference? He said, daddy, dancing. He said, I have my own personal dance. I'm the congregation. He said, I have no sense of you. I didn't know all these things were in marriage. His wife would do the dance. You are looking at me, eh? You are looking at me. <laughs> You get the dancing. You get the dancing. <laughs> a yomo will not that's why. A yomo, a yomo is, is finding the is finding the hunger to be hanging clothes and ironing things. <laughs> he said to me, I tell you, dancing. I said, What do you mean by dancing? Then he started to Describe. Then the, the wife came out and said, oh, show, show some of the dance. She told, I said, hey! Tell the people are enjoying you. Whilst others are suffering with yomos. Ask your neighbor, are you suffering with a yomos? No, catch the anointing is the beauty of catch the anointing. This is it. Music. Yes, the music. The dancing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And you think people don't want it. There are so many nightclubs with people dancing. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Hey! Why do they have nightclubs with people dancing? Because people like the dancing. People like the dancing. It can only be a young. You don't see an old, an old lady doing those dances. You know, one day a brother came from a certain country whose name begins with an N. And he told me that in his country, there's a nightclub for old people. Yeah. Only grandma, you see them, grandmothers dancing in the night. They go all night. I say, hey, it sounds strange to me. Uh, do we have one in Ghana? Hmm. Our yomos are regals. <laughs> music. Everybody say music. music. Do you want more good music? Yeah. Do you want love music? Do you want young music? Then allow. Allow and encourage. Don't frown or give, I mean, intimidation, electricity waves coming from your, 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 your face or your facial expression. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. One of the greatest things of the first life is the music. Recently, I went somewhere and I met a whole lot of our members from New Zealand. When the song started, it's, I'm telling you, it's like a hymn. Everybody knows every word. They sing the songs like hymns. Every song, when they come up, they all this together without instruments. They love the music. You see, people don't know about young people to even win it. That's why the whole churches are empty of young people. They've gone away to wherever they, 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 they will go. 
You may have big anointing, but these are also realities. Even Jesus Christ asked for wrinkle free. Yeah, I want patience, I want love, I want what, but I need without wrinkles. Hmm. Music, dancing, a flow. Yeah, a flow. Let your flow change, all of you. Let your flow change. Amen. And be like the flow of a young person in the ministry. Then you will hear from God. God will speak to you. You'll be moving. He'll say, do this, do this, do this. Start a huge crusade. You start, do this. Go here, write a book. This, it's like you are flowing. It's not a resistance. Why should I write a book? There are enough books. To the many of making of many books, there is no end. Why should I do this? Why should I do that? Why this? Why? There will be no questions why. But there will be a flow. Yeah. When you start asking questions, why? Ha. There are places I go with Maya, I don't allow her to sing. The people, the people don't receive it. They don't, they don't want such things. I said, no, 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 don't sing. There are places I said, oh, no, no, don't sing. These people, don't, these people will not want But there are places. They love it. They want it. They have it. As soon as they start singing, it's like a hymn. Every, you can't believe it. I've, I've been shocked over and over again. They take over. You can't even hear the person on the microphone again. They take over and they, they, the congregations, they Australia, New Zealand, England, America, many of those places. The music, the dancing. In Belgium, we have white dancers, white people. They dance to this, uh, our songs. Wabawa, beer, and whatever. You see them dancing. In Belgium, our church in Belgium, white boys and girls. Because white people, young people like to dance. They like, what are nightclubs for? What are discos for? What are parties for? What do they do at all these places? How come that when we come to church, like, hey, here we are. <laughs> we, are, we, are, we are in the presence of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord. Those things are not appropriate here. We are not needing those things here. All right? You should know the place of everything. Know the place of everything that is done. Okay? Take your time. This is not a youth group. This is a church. This is not a youth group. Youth fellowship is different from church. All right? Youth fellowship is different from church. God has given me one of the biggest churches in the whole country. Biggest of young people, plenty. If you like, if you like, go for wrinkles. You see, the thing cannot grow, cannot work. A lot of old people, they just sleep by each other. There's no productivity. They lie like Odum, a wawa board on the, on the this thing. Sapele wood, they see that they are just lying there like wood. Hmm. How many want a flowing church? Jesus wants a flowing church. Yeah. Flow. One day a brother was going to marry. I told him he brought his beloved. I met her two, three, four, five times, and I told him she's a nice wife. And I told him some characteristics. I said that you you are going to have a nice experience. I can see how she is in the flow. I said, you have any, he, he, he sends me, so that when he tells me, we have to meet with him and explain to him that marriage is not like this. Oh. What you are experiencing doesn't happen in usual in marriages. But before they married, I saw from how she was, I said that this person, she, she will be a certain way with you. You will enjoy it. She will flow. Yeah. Hey, she's flowing. She's flow. It's wild. If I tell you now, I say, hey, are all these ones are in marriage. People are enjoying things. And then joy. Oh. To go home and meet someone who is happy. 
or to go home and meet someone who has questions. <laughs> Sit down, I need to talk with you. There's something I need, I need to do. I'm talking about the husband is telling the wife, that, Sit down, we need to talk. We need to talk. <laughs> we need to talk. Every day there's a discussion. We need to talk. No, no, there are certain things uh, I've, I've, I've not, you see, I've been keeping it. But we need to talk. Every day there is a discussion. A discussion. A meeting. A discussion. A meeting. A discussion. A meeting. But there are other people, they go home. They are happy to go home. Yes. Others, when they go home, they'll be tiptoeing as if they are detectives. (laughs) (laughs) They go home as detectives with a torch. (laughs) And I said, Hey, I've seen you. Why are you now coming? Why are you now coming? <laughs> yes. One day I did a survey. I did a survey. And I asked a lot of people that have been married for some time. And I asked, this question is just for brothers. How many of you, when you come home, and then your wife is asleep. You suspect that she's not really asleep. <laughs> but <laughs> you suspect that she's not really asleep. <laughs> but she will not get up. The younger one will get up because they've learned this is my new marriage. Oh, darling. And they were told to kiss when the person comes. Mm. <laughs> But there's a song we don't kiss anymore. No, don't talk anymore. Don't talk anymore. The young ones, the older ones. So I believe that a new joyful attitude. Oh, yes. I've been in church before where the church was even facing me in my spirit. When I come, I'm afraid. Yeah. I'm afraid to speak. I'm afraid to preach. Yeah. But you see, I've seen different environments. Different environments. Do you know something? When I went to the First Love Church, I had the shock of my life because I spoke to one sister in America. She said, ah, you know, the message is in two parts. I said, what's two parts? She said, because it doesn't fit on a, I think we are using cassette, it doesn't fit in him, it doesn't fit. I said, why doesn't it fit? It is the, sa- the same message. He said, no, since you've been at the First Love Church, the messages are three hours, two hours, and whatever. By the Kodesh, it was 45 minutes. 45, 35 minutes. You say, 10.05 to 10.35. Then you have to close. <laughs> I'm finished. When I went to the, and it's like, they are never tired. They are never tired. They are never tired. Well, some people always say, I'm tired. I'm tired. But they are never tired. And you see, you are not so tired, even you thought you were tired, but you see, you are not tired. Yes. You are surviving. Are you not surviving? Joy, music, joy, and strength. Strength. Amen. So the Lord bless many catch the anointing centers with such young, powerful boys and girls, and even older ones who have taken on the nature of a young person. The nature of a young person. The nature of a young Every standing, please. All right. Every standing, every standing. 
Father, thank you for your blessing this morning. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for blessing us with young people and for what they are going to bring to the table of ministry. Thank you for taking away the curse of death on our lives and our churches. Bring about something different, Lord. Something wonderful. Help us to allow the young to come with their strength, their joy, their flow, their music, and their dancing. Thank you for blessedness upon the church forever. We give you praise and we give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen.